Hey, hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. A quick little invitation to all of you IB Economic students to head on over to my website, bradcartwright.com, a website designed to help you improve your scores in IB Economics, whether that be on an in-class quiz, a test, or ultimately the IB exam. So if you want some more information, check out the description box below. And other than that, enjoy this video. All right, well, here we go. We're going to take a look at how to construct this diagram for the negative externalities of consumption. Now, check it out, okay? You need to know how to build this particular diagram. And this is the base diagram for all market failure diagrams. If you don't know how to construct this diagram, stop the presses, hit pause, go up here and click on that video right there to understand how to draw the base diagram for market failure, okay? It's really critical that you know what this means and how it gets there. Even if you know how to like actually draw it, you gotta understand the meaning behind it. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult for you to understand how it is that um, this, this whole thing functions, okay? So we're talking about negative externalities of consumption. And one of the things that you always gotta do is think of something that is a market where the consumption of something causes a negative outcome for those people who are close by. And that negative outcome, that extra cost, is not representative in the P1Q1 price quantity combination. So the kind of the way of saying that is like, if I go and buy a pack of cigarettes, right? Um, I'm going to play, I'm going to pay price P1. But actually, if I sit down at my at my table with my students here in Santiago and fire up a cigarette, first of all, I lose my job. But second of all, what would happen? Well, I would be damaging the lungs of all of those students sitting at the table. So actually, my private benefit, right, is actually higher than the marginal social benefit. It's like I benefit more at that table than everybody else because I'm smoking the cigarette. Everyone else just sort of <laughs> suffers, right? just sort of suffers. So the thing is, with negative externalities of consumption, the way that you account for the extra cost to uh, society as a result of me smoking the cigarettes is you express it as an outward movement of one of those two curves right there, okay? Um, and those two, uh, outward movement, right? And what that means is actually this marginal private benefit curve comes out from underneath the marginal social benefit curve. And you realize that as I'm smoking my cigarette, there's actually damage being done to society that's not accounted for in the price of the cigarette. Okay, And as a result, we create something that is, I want to fix that line. Hold on one second. We create something that has a negative outcome for all of those people around us. Okay, so this, so as a result, what's going to happen is there are going to be, that's P1, and I'll draw it down here. There's Q2, right? That's this. Okay, the market is actually going to operate at P2. That's not P1, that's supposed to be P2. P2. Two, Q2. That's where the market's operating. P2, Q2. Now, that is not where the market wants or the where society wants that market to operate. We want it to be a dot B right here at B. Where do you want to be? B. If there were no smokers, right? This is where the market would function. But the thing is, there's an extra cost. Look at costs went up, costs went up. Remember, price and cost are interchangeably, can be interchangeably thought of at times. So now the cost of society is actually higher than what would be socially optimal. So the socially optimal point is point B, but the market's actually operating up here at, we got to make it like something bad, dark. At that point there, like let's say that's point uh uh, a. Okay. So as the market's operating at point A, but that's not where we want to be. We want to be here. 
So as a result of that, and this is not a, a, a slide or it's not a, a video on how to solve the solutions. If you want to see us solutions to these, check out that video right there of how to solve um, negative externalities of consumption. However, this is just how to draw the diagram. And from here, you can then see like, whoa, wait a second. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here because this right here is loss of welfare to society as a result of there being smokers, right? So right here, this triangle, A, B, wait for it, C right there, is a loss of welfare to society as a result of what? As a result of the, um, uh, the, 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 the cost of the cigarette not being included in the price. Okay, so the, if, in a perfect world, the cigarettes would cost P2, but they only cost P1. And this P2 level would account for your harm if I'm blowing secondhand smoke in your face, right? So there's the diagram for negative externalities of consumption. This is the MSB curve. This is the MPB curve, right? And in the case, because it's consumption, this is another thing I probably should have said at the beginning, because it's the negative externalities of consumption, then we're only going to deal with what we used to call the demand curve. Consumption. Who consumes? Demanders. Don't write demand here. You'll get hammered on the, on, the, on the test. But this is demand. So when it's consumption, it's always going to be this line that's going to shift. And when it, it might go in, right? But this is going to shift. Okay? When it's production, guess what? The suppliers are going to shift. That's a little secret to help you learn how to do this. Okay. The other little thing, and a, student, <laughs> and a student showed me this one time, I didn't think of it, I didn't even realize it, is that this uh, actually, check it, looks like an arrow pointing inward, right? I don't know if you can see that arrow. There's an arrow pointing inward, boom, right? And that means that you want to get back to point B. Why do you want to get back to point B? Because there's an overconsumption of cigarettes. The government wants less cigarettes to be smoked always because they are damaging to the health, not only of the person smoking, but to the people around them. All right, so there you have it. That's it. That's how you draw, and the logic behind drawing, the negative externality of consumption diagram. If you are interested in seeing the other um, um, market failure diagrams, check out the playlist for how to draw the market failure um, the market failure diagrams right there. Well, there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want more information on the subscriptions available for IB Economics students around the world, check out the description box below. All right, my friends, a reminder to be good to yourselves out there. Be kind to someone today, and we'll talk to you in a bit.